the Blue Ribbon Panel, which investigated the 9-11 attacks, found a number of failures in America's defenses against terrorism. There were shortcomings when it came to watch lists and overseeing visas. And above all, there was the failure of government agencies to pool and share intelligence. I want you to take a listen to a 9-11 Commission member, Richard Benvenista, back in 2005. When we uh, uh, issued our final report, one of the central tenets of what we found was that there was a failure of communication, that we had accumulated a great deal of information, but that it was not wisely used, information wasn't shared, it wasn't effectively utilized. Mr. Benveniste joins us here in the Situation Room. That was four years ago when you said that. You put a lot of work into this report. We all remember it very clearly. Are you stunned to hear now that the problems we are facing today are ones of communication, that people just aren't talking to each other? Well, it's disappointing. Uh, I hope this is an isolated example. I know we've made a lot of progress since we made our recommendations on the 9-11 Commission. Uh, virtually all of them were enacted. Uh, into law, and uh, now they have been utilized, I think, in, in, in great part uh, by our government and its agencies. But quite clearly, there was a failure here, and we need to address it. As the president said yesterday, uh, he is determined uh, to hold people accountable, to find out what went wrong, and to take corrective action. Now, you studied our intelligence system in depth and in detail. Why is it so difficult for these different agencies to share information? Well, there has always been in Washington this intramural uh, kind of uh, feeling of possessiveness about information that's developed within an agency by its sources. And so there is a tendency to stovepipe. Uh, to hoard information and not to share it. And that has to be overcome. And as we said uh, five years ago, uh, it has to be overcome by presidential leadership who requires that it be done to overcome this obstinate uh, tendency in our government agencies to hoard information. Now, the Line 11 Commission in December 5th of 2005 gave its final report, and it specifically talked about pre-screening passengers before they board the airline. Mm -hmm. And you gave this country, you gave the grade of an F. Here's what the Commission said. A few improvements have been made to the existing passenger screening system since right after 9-11. The completion of the testing phase of TSA's pre-screening program for airline passengers has been delayed delayed a new system utilizing all names on the consolidated terror watch list is therefore not yet in operation that was back in 2005 what grade would you give the obama administration today after learning of this incident well again it's one incident we're still finding out facts uh, but clearly uh, we have not seen implemented with uh, the alacrity that we would have wished of uh, the ability to utilize information and then to match it against passengers, particularly those who come from overseas. Here we had an individual uh, who had an existing visa, uh, but who had spent time, uh, as we know, in Yemen, whose father uh, alerted government agencies to his radicalization, uh, who uh, uh, may have been matched up with other intelligence information suggesting that a Nigerian would be involved right. in a terror plot all of which um, we would have hoped could have been knitted together. Do you have any confidence in the Obama administration that they are, in fact, going to deal with this? Oh, because yes, this I is, do. This is something that the, the Bush administration dealt with. Clearly, it does not look like they are getting a passing grade. Well, quite clearly, I do have hope that uh, the Obama administration takes this seriously. We saw the president's reaction immediately, taking responsibility, looking for accountability, all of which is a sea change from what we saw in the last administration, quite frankly. Now, the ability to effect these changes is certainly no easy task, as we have seen. Uh, but I think the determination is there. They have very good people there. And uh, I think where the will uh, is not lacking, but is obvious, 
that we will see some results. Do you think anyone should lose their job over this? Well, let's see what the facts are and then make that determination. Finally, uh, the 9-11 Commission had uh, said among the recommendations that uh, the United States should attack terrorists and their organizations, root out sanctuaries, utilizing every element of national power. Right. Do you believe that this applies to Yemen now as well, where we're I seeing a does. growing increase in al-Qaeda? I think that's a good question, Suzanne. And the president uh, has, in fact, in the past, uh, launched attacks uh, uh, in coordination, uh, we think, with the Yemeni government, uh, which is not the most robust uh, government on the planet, to say the least. Uh, but we have seen such action, and uh, the president has uh, again reiterated his commitment to seek out those who have struck against us. Perhaps this was, in fact, blowback for earlier attempts uh, to get al-Laki and other individuals who we know are in Yemen uh, and who are sponsoring terrorism. Okay, Mr. Benveniste, thank you so much for joining us thank here in the you. Situation Room. Always a pleasure, Susan. Thank you.